England rugby celebrating 150 years. This fixture is 115 years old. The first match not too far away from here, back in 1906 at the old Crystal Palace. Here's Tuolangi being held up, Damien Dialindi. He takes some passing and getting through. Smith, there's Stewart. May popping up. First tackle missed on him, there's Youngs. Johnny Hill. England within five. Maru Itoji straight into a wall of green. There's May. Well, remember the World Cup close to half time when South Africa frustrated England. Can they keep them out this time? There's now space out wide. It's Tuolangi! Pushing up hard to try and shut down Henry Slade. Quick transfer, and there's only one way, one way and one destination for this big fella, and that's in the corner. World Cup winner for England, Jason Robinson, among those looking on. Some concern, though, perhaps about Manitoulangi, just getting a little bit of treatment. And Marcus Smith came into the match with a perfect kicking record in this Autumn Nation series. He has maintained it. Again, I think the concern continuing about Manitoulangi, he has got that leg heavily strapped up. He is walking down the touchline. I think he's going to be coming off. That may well be the last action. Dialindi, Pollard, Billy LaRue. That was meant for Mapimpi. Oh, it's an awkward one again for May, and he looked like he fumbled it again, possibly. And it's a penalty to South Africa. So, Andre Pollard, who's, uh, who's kicking this month has been pretty good. That's seven out of eight across the three test matches. Stewart, there's some space here. Chance here for Malins. Acres of grass in front of him. Steps inside Jesse Grill. What a tackle from the Pimpy. Here's May. England finding gaps in this famous South African defence. They've done it once. They almost got through there a second time. Here's Young's. On to Stewart, and Stewart gets the try. A try against Australia. Now one against the world champions. 101 kilograms, bundles his way over Makazolo Mapimpi and Kubus Reinach. Well, Eddie Jones calls him England's goalkeeper. The man at the back, who doesn't drop a thing. Straight out of the middle from Marcus Smith. England up to 14. That time it was Ludiaga. The referee is playing a penalty advantage here to South Africa, so they've got a free hit at this one. There's Dialindi on to Pollard. They've got numbers here, perhaps. There's the kick through meant for Jesse Creel. Well, England were forced to scramble. So many things that can go wrong at the line-out. England has defended it well, but Henry Pollard has certainly stepped up. Well, they banned Rassi from Twickenham today, but if you look around, you can probably see three or four thousand Rassis, actually. Inside. No hands. Whoever mass-produced those masks, it's a relatively captive and uh, small market, but they will have made themselves a few pounds or rands, but a penalty. And Tom Curry at the heart of it. Well, that's 10 out of 10 in the Autumn Nation series so far for Marcus Smith. The Mullen. Solid under the high ball. Look there at Tom Curry. But it's a penalty that goes against England. Oh my word. What a strike. Luckily for the Springboks, the ball went out. Ball! 
Yes, a bit of speculation in this part of the world over the course of the last couple of days that Andre Pollard may be playing his club rugby in England next season. They have to get used to uh, damp pitches. There's Kubis Reiner combining there with Mapimpi, who barely had the space you get in one of those red telephone boxes yeah, in this part of the world. Clapson, number six. Once again, Andre Pollard takes South Africa up to 12. Chance wasted, but he must be fairly content with the opening 40. England regain it. They will get another bite. There's a little chip over the top. Well, Jesse Grill just in a bit of a collision there with Billy LaRue. There's Reinach. It's in to touch. And that is the end of a compelling opening 40 minutes. Freddie Stewart, his reputation grows and grows. Courtney Laws leading from the front. England have enjoyed the first 40 a little bit more than that man, Sia Khaleesi. But the one thing you know about the box, they will not panic. It's half-time at Twickenham in the World Cup final rematch, and it's England who leads South Africa by 17 points to 12. No changes from either side at half-time. Oh, and Billy LaRue puts it down, but I think that went backwards. Certainly is the view of the referee. Well, it's as if those three men in the front that row there saw their mates stripping off and said, if we're going to go out, we're going to go out with a bang. Well, he is human. And of course, Martin, he follows in the beast's footsteps, so he's got an os and a beast that he's got to lift up to. Oh, Sinclair fumbles it, gets hit. Malcolm Marks, penalty to South Africa. Sinclair going backwards, allows Vincent Koff to get over that ball. Stephen Kitsoff is also there, and you're not going to move that man over that ball once he's getting his mitts on there. Well, the first one went right, the second one's gone left. Here's France staying with a touch, looks up, sees space behind Johnny May. May doesn't have a big angle to work with. Here's Stewart. Delindy. Mathimpi just whispering in his ear. The follow-up tackle is missed by Stewart. Well, is that turned? Illegally so, Sam Underhill, a penalty straight in front. Cured into perhaps the outstanding centre partnership in world rugby. But it's also that strong defence combination that they've worked on. Lukanyam, some phenomenal offloading skills when he gets the opportunity. Ludiaga having to reach behind him for that one. Okay, stay last feet. I need a scrum no, half. He's back on his feet, is Kurbis Reiner. There goes Stephen Kutzoff. Yeah. Malcolm Marks. Oh, it's a penalty advantage coming for South Africa. Right in front of the post. England's lead. Perhaps now poised to be snuffed out. So, South Africa lead England in a test match for the first time since the World Cup final in Yokohama. And England have got an outstanding record at Twickenham in the out, uh, is it? traditional is it out, is it? autumn series matches or November internationals, call them what you will. Since South Africa won, there is Jasper Visa, by the way. 
Sink South Africa won here in 2014. England have won 17 of the last 18. And bursting through. And look at that for Rafi Quirk. Marchant delivering the pass. And Quirk gets a try. What a way to fight back. What a score this was. The short pass. And a huge hole opened in that South Africa defence. And the response by the Twickenham crowd. Damien Darland is stepping in to support Elton Yankees. Huge hole opening up in that defensive line. Easy two on one for Quirk to score his try. Marcus Smith makes it worth seven. Got it all to do again. The alteration made at scrum, we've got at uh, scrum half, I should say. But it's a yellow card. How significant is that? It is the accumulation of penalties, and it's Will Stewart who effectively takes one for the team. Penalty number 16 for England. There is Herschel Yankees waiting for it. Marua Toji being told to release. Yes, for Visa, powering his way forward. It's there for Yankees. It's another penalty count. One more added to it. Here's Yankees. Across there to the other Yankees. Over the top. Makazoli Mapimpi. Yet another try. On a knife edge. Lovely pass there by Lucanio Am. Freddie Stewart pushing up, trying to shut it down. Getting sucked in. Mapimpi with an easy run in, and he just cannot stop scoring tries. Makazolo Mapimpi over again. Well, it was a very crisp connection, but it does slip wide. Elton Yankees again, just getting that away despite the company of Tom Curry. Backwards. England have won it on the floor. But it's South Africa who get the penalty. There's never been a more important moment than this. And Franz Stein does what he has done in green and gold. South Africa starting to demonstrate why they're world champions. And Evan Etzebeth going through, romping through like a derby winner. But it's a penalty against South Africa. Here's Nick Dolly. Well, it didn't go to plan. But Maro Itoji comes away with it. England really need to make something happen here. Marcus Smith chips ahead. And it's a penalty to England. seconds remain England looking for a hero Henry Slade the arm is out from the referee they have the penalty there goes Marcus Smith well that was rather reckless you have to say from South Africa 
They've given the second penalty, and this one is straight in front. England lead. South Africa have to regain possession. All England need to do is get it and kick it out. England have it, they have the penalty. Marcus Smith will kick it into touch. And that is it.